Your Excellency, the Sismic Senator Lamang, the former Governor of Plateau State, former Minister of Labor and Productivity, Your Excellency, the Minister of State, the Federal Capital Authority, the Chairman, Federal Civil Service Commission, the same Senators here present, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, the Executive Secretary, Federal Capital Development Agency, Mandate Secretaries of the various Secretaries, newly sworn in Head of Service and Partner Secretaries, Chairman and members of the Health City Civil Service Commission, coordinators of the STD and AMAC, directors and management staff of the Health City, uh, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a memorable day as far as the Health City is concerned. We we'll give God the glory, we we'll give him the honor. But today, all our dreams have come to materialize. First of all, we want to thank His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, who has shown leadership by making sure the 2018 Act is being implemented. <laughs> that again reassures us of the Renewed Hope agenda. Prior to this period, it was difficult for any staff of FCTA to be a permanent secretary. Today, Bola Metinibu has made it possible for you to get to the peak of your career. <laughs> At least for sure, those of you who are not permanent secretaries are now hopeful that tomorrow you will be permanent secretary. Again, for people who have fought this, for you not to have the Civil Service Commission, I thank God Almighty that we have a body who will take responsibility for the training, employment, discipline of civil servants of the FCTA. Again, you have capable hands, particularly the chairman of the Civil Service uh, Commission. I've known him as a Minister of State Education when he was the DG of the Bureau of Public uh, Procurement. He's a no nonsense person. He knows the rules very well, in and out of civil uh, service. So we made sure, the President made sure he gets the best to start this because we know it will not be easy. And again, to the permanent secretaries, yes, you have been made a permanent secretary, but you know what comes with it. As a permanent secretary, you have become a political appointee. Did you write an exam to a permanent secretary? So you know, you know the implication of that. If you perform below expectation, there's nothing like quoting. There's nothing like quoting him as proper civil service rules. We have no time for that. We'll just send you packing as permanent secretary. So just know it very well now. 
I say it, I don't want to hear. Now that we have the secretaries, you have your member secretaries as a political heads, I don't want to hear that files are unduly delayed. I don't want to hear that files are unduly delayed. Just recently, we found out somebody who was sabotaging the works of the FCTA. But thank God, all those bad people have all left. All, all, those, all those who don't want you to be independent, who want to their secretaries from the Federal Civil Service, they have all left. But please, please, we want you to assist, we want you to support the government of Bola Ahmed Tinubu to realize the renewed hope agenda. What you owe, this one have always told people, it has been, it was, has been difficult. You have been fighting for this. You never knew that this will be the time. Now if somebody who has taken up the pains, who has said, look, let this be done. What do you pay back? How do you pay back? Is to be committed and work for the success of that person. So you owe Mr. President to make sure that Abuja works and works very, very well. <laughs> we don't know the secretary that you'll be posted. Wherever you are posted, what we require for you is commitment and total loyalty. Total loyalty. Nothing like 99 point something percent. It's 100 uh, percent. And of course, like I said last time, immediately after round, the head of service will send out the postings of directors. I have said that there will be total reshufflement in all areas. I've said so, and I'm going to implement it this afternoon. So, are you with us? Please, if you have been, if you have been a prayer warrior, please, no need, it has been done. You ought, you ought to have fasted before today, but don't fast anymore today because the posting has been uh, done and nothing will change it. Now to the coordinators, particularly the coordinator of STD. This is the first time that STD as an administration is taking development to the area councils. Mr. President has mandated that as we are providing infrastructure in the city, we must also provide infrastructure in the area councils. <laughs> and so you owe us a duty to make sure you supervise and report what is going on in the STD. It is very, very important. The man in charge of the Abuja Municipal Management Council, you know your own is more problematic because all of us are in the city. You make sure that the street lights are on, sanitation is done very well, you make sure that public buildings are well repaired. To worsen your situation, the residents and the guest houses of the senior president and other principal of the National Assembly, you are in charge. So you'll be into trouble. And of course, this is where Mr. President resides. Last night, I went around and I saw areas where there are no lights, no street lights. 
And then I was asking myself a question, why am I signing street lights payment every time? So you, you have to make sure that before you bring any paper, you make sure that all those street lights are working. They are working. The man in charge of investment, Abuja Infrastructure Center, just this morning, I saw files on land swap. I minister to the head of service, I said, keep it until the new man comes. I'm not going to do anything until the new man assumes uh, office. You know, people like to rush. Today they know that the man will be neglected and they're pushing the file for me to sign. I said, I'm not going to sign. Let the new man start work. I want to appeal to the permanent secretaries. Please cooperate with the mandate secretaries. They are like your commissioners. You have to cooperate with them. And I also urge them to also cooperate with you. There is no need of struggling. Who is bigger? No one person can work alone. You require a teamwork to be able to succeed. So if you work together, we are going to succeed. Everybody is looking towards us to make sure that we change the narrative. And by the grace of God, we are doing that now. Everybody is seeing that. Security is improving. You can see the infrastructure going on. Other things will very soon will start innovation of schools in the entire six area councils. I believe that when the National Assembly approves our 2024 statutory budget, which we are going to defend this afternoon, I believe we will take off immediately. And we can let the public know, by the grace of God, come May this year, Mr. President will have a lot to commission in our city. <laughs> Let me thank the Chairman of the Federal Civil Service Commission for honoring our invitation. Let me thank the Honorable Minister of State for the support. We have always worked together, and that is why we are achieving the result we are achieving today. Let me thank all the mandate secretaries for their commitment to making sure that the renewed hope agenda is being achieved. And let me also urge the other directors, be hopeful. Be hopeful. The head of service is going to retire this much. <laughs> but let me tell you something. History has it as is the first order of service yeah. of the F City. Because I saw his commitment, because I saw his passion to work, I recommended to Mr. President, these are the type of people we want. Even if you will spend two days, let him go with it as the former head of uh, service. And so, you never can tell who will be the next uh, head of service. So be committed that when God says it's your turn, it is going to be your turn. But be assured that nobody, nobody will be victimized. Nobody will be politically victimized. No. I believe in competency. I believe in capacity. Once more, I congratulate you and thank you and know that your work has started immediately. I do know that you have made arrangements to go and host some of your guests. Well, unfortunately, the head of service cannot. Unfortunately, the partners who the DFA before cannot because they all head into National uh, Assembly to defend our budget. Thank you and God bless you. Let me thank my Lord.
Let me specifically thank my lord, the chief judge, who is who is representing, who is being presented by my own brother from my state, Justice Sylvanus Origi. You see how God works? You see how God works? I'm the minister. The man who gave out the oath to those who from River State. So, and it is true when I was minister that we got all these things we got, is it not? So I could not to pray for River State. Thank you and God bless you.